Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. My laptop is back, so I'm able to do voiceover videos again. And we have a construction update from Disneyland and specifically from my chat. Thank you to the folks in my chat. I um shout out to Scott Atula. This I don't think I think Mike Kindridge. These are his photos, but shout out to Scott Atula. I um actually went into him at Six Flags and I was walking around and seeing how he takes pictures. And shout out for the hard work that he does. Um Scott Atula on my chat. Um, thank you for joining me or hanging out with me at Six Flags' opening day last week. But yes, these are, I think, are from Mike Kindridge. Um, and they are gorgeous, uh, shots here uh, of Disneyland being very active before the reopening. Here's just an overhead shot of Disneyland before that reopening. Uh, Disneyland announced ticket sales, when ticket sales will be available. I'll have that video in, I'll link that video above in the right corner. So, let's get on to this update. Disneyland list, uh, listed uh, rides that will be open and not be open in restaurants and retail that will be open and not open on April 30th. I'll make uh, a, a post or a video for that coming shortly. But one of them that will not be open is the Matterhorn. And if you can see, it's kind of hard to tell with this overhead shot. But if you zoom in, you can see there's a worker right where the waterfall used to be. And that waterfall is going to be in that dry, that um, that um, brown area looking like and that's all uh, the waterfall and um there's a work there mad home is going through it's what seems to be an annual refurbishment and it always seems to be around april if you even if you know disneyland before 2019 not sure about 2020 but in 2019 and 2018 the matter one was closed for several weeks in april as they tried to again smooth out that track and work on some stuff because the structure especially because uh, the when that portion of the mountain fell um it was closed for a while then i'm sure they're trying to reinforce that as well so it's not going to open on april 30th but hopefully by may or june it will open i included this shot in here because one is just gorgeous as the whole park is and it's so nice it's just lots of painters i was watching a fresh bakes video in uh, best life and beyond's video they're at the park on uh today and they were uh, there's lots of painters and stuff, prepping parks. It's going to look gorgeous. But if you look in the central hub, the the springtime is coming here at Disneyland. And their new um, trees have blossomed and bloomed. Those beautiful purple trees in the hub, they look amazing. I don't think they're fully done planting yet because I think the surrounding area is kind of dirt. But it should look gorgeous. Over here to the Rivers America, Mark Twain is docked in the uh, Columbia is docked over in the port on the other side by Splash Mountain and Haunted Mansion. But if you look in the center, uh, Tom, Tom Sawyer's Island, which will not be open um, on April 30th, the um, Fantasmic is getting some work done. Um, as you know, or if you don't know, California is going to lift all restrictions on June 15th, so any nighttime shows like Fantasmic could potentially work, return as soon as that week, so that would be pretty awesome. Uh, so they're doing some work from that. And for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, opening in two years. Um, they must have a lot of interior work to do, because obviously the exterior is just about done. It's fully framed, it's gorgeous, all the HVAC, the HVAC, the air conditioning pipes have been installed on the top, forming a nice little pattern there. It almost, almost looks like it spells something, I know it's, it doesn't, but it's great. But um, it's amazing to see that that building is as big as Toontown itself. I just cannot get over that. They make a ride building so large these days. And Roger Rabbit feels like a long, longer ride than it does in this aerial photo. If you look, Roger Rabbit show is not that big. But there, uh, because there's so many twists and turns, it feels actually like a longer ride than it actually is. Which is, and then the square footage, square footage is allotted for, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Mickey and Minnie's looking amazing. Moving on to the Fantasyland projects. Snow White's Enchanted Witch is done. Enchanted Wish is done. Has a brand new beautiful attraction poster underneath um, the train and the Disneyland entrance tunnels. And the carousel with its bright blue beautiful canopies has no scaffolding finally. And some, if you zoom in, some horses finally began to be installed. So that should be ready to go April 30th. Um, which is coming up quickly it's only like three weeks away guys that's pretty exciting pretty exciting stuff april 30th is also my birthday so 
I just, I'm just so stoked that Disney is opening on my birthday. Even if I have probably no chance, a very little chance of actually getting a ticket for that day. Um, but yeah, Fantasyland's looking great. With no indoor queues, Fantasyland, at least until April, June 15th, Fantasyland will be looking a little different. It may be a little bit more crowded. Because it's already kind of crowded because it's kind of small. So I prepare to potentially avoid Fantasyland if you don't have to be in Fantasyland uh, come April 30th. Um, uh, ooh, I had a mind blank. I thought I was going to say Casey Jr., which is right there. But I'm talking about the... Uh, Storybook Land Canal boats are under some refurb. I see the water is drained, but there's also some scaffolding and some work happening on the lights before the Aladdin section. You can see on the top of that photo. Not sure if that was listed on the main on the rides that will be open. I have to double check again, but expect that to be open by April 30th, if not very soon afterwards. Moving on to DCA, looking at the very complete and very finished Avengers Campus. Um, we have two photos here of that. It is not going to reopen with the park. It will reopen again. Since restrictions will be lifted June 15th, um, the park is going to go back up to full capacity at that point. I am still betting on, uh, putting my putting my words on that it's going to open around July 9th, which is, of course, when Black Widow opens. And the land itself heavily features Black Widow because the main land's villain is Taskmaster. Um, and there are Black Widow posters for, uh, on the land, uh, in the construction walls of the land. But... This is just a, a beautiful shot. Look at that beautiful um, Quinjet and the Avengers A right there. I cannot wait to get to this, hopefully in just a few months. Like I said, with the restrictions are lifting on June 15th and the land heavily promoting Black Widow, I would expect uh, opening that week, maybe a premiere of Black Widow in the land like they want to do with Cars 2 for Cars Land. Um, or like they did with Cars 2 for or Cars 3, sorry, for Cars Land. So, I expect maybe a premiere, uh, movie premiere, especially since social distancing, I don't know, we'll see how the situation is at that time, but I feel like it'd be cool to have a Black Widow movie premiere, premiere in Avengers Campus, but what do you guys think of this quick little Disneyland update? Are you super excited for the parks to reopen? Uh, I sure am. I cannot wait till those ticket sales go on sale next week. Again, the video is linked above if you need uh, more info on that. Park hours, dining reservations, all that good stuff. It's in the uh, top right corner. Comment below, what attraction do you miss the most? The Disneyland Railroad was testing today and I know brought tears to lots of people's eyes. So, is that the one? Let me, let me know what you miss the most in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.